Okay, due to some problems uh, with moving what was on screen, I'll just do this last exercise in a separate video. Uh, so, nominal in clause, what is the function of the in clause in the superordinate clause? So, just as with the exercise above, but now we're looking at instead of two clauses, we're looking at in clauses. Okay. All of these uh, use pretty much the, the same example, you'll notice. So, uh, number one, I always enjoy listening to pop music. Okay. So here, obviously, this is a, a sentence about what I enjoy. I is the subject, enjoy is the verb. So enjoy is a normal monotransitive verb. It requires a direct object. So listening to pop music plays the role here of direct object. Okay. Simple. Number two, listening to pop music is my greatest pleasure. Well, clearly, the main verb here is is. Is requires a subject and a complement. So my greatest pleasure will be the complement. And listening to pop music will be the subject. Simple. Okay. Number three, his greatest pleasure, listening to music, had to be stopped. Okay, so here, listening to music is a description of his greatest pleasure. It's a separate part of the sentence. It's uh, divided off with commas. So we should note straight away this is a positive. Okay. Number four, he was always happy listening to pop music. Okay. So he is the subject. He was. So we're expecting to have a subject compliment here okay uh, but this type of compliment is uh, sometimes known in, in a slightly different way so sometimes this would this will be known as an adjectival compliment because it comes after the happy uh, we're not going to worry too much about that that's a slightly different type of uh, of compliment which I, I think I don't even know if it was mentioned in the notes, to be honest. We won't worry too much about that. Um, we, we can, we can. So the most important thing is that we notice that there is a, a compliment here. And uh, number five, his greatest pleasure is listening to music. So here, his greatest pleasure obviously is the subject. Is is the verb, okay? And listening to music will therefore be the subject complement, okay? Okay, so that's everything about those. Uh, so you should now be ready, uh, if you haven't done it already, to take uh, the test, which is on the website, which is a very simple test. And uh, you know, there's no restrictions. You, you can take as long as you like over doing it. Uh, but you are supposed to do it at some point. And then you are also ready now, uh, hopefully, for the revision uh, lesson which we're going to have next week live at our normal class time um, so I, I suppose that I shall put a, a, a link to that on the website but also if you uh, if you go to the channel on YouTube of course you will see what's what's happening there as usual any questions any requests for things that you'd like me to talk about during the uh, during that, that that revision lesson please send them you can ask questions during the lesson, but obviously if you want me to talk about a subject, you can let me know before. It'll make it slightly easier for me. Okay, but for now, that is everything.